Hello, 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 dear friends and Rasikas. Vanakkam. Here I am with episode 8 of Expressions Espresso. Coffee for you and tea for me. I'm sure the chat with Sangeeta Kalani, the Srimati R. Vedavalyaka had her words of wisdom lingering with us over the last week. If Veda Akka's words were wisdom for us, this interaction today is going to blow you over, simply blow you over, both the person and his beautiful music are something inseparable. For someone proficient in Hindustani and classical Carnatic music as well, he handled his foray into film music with equal, or I would say more elan. Singing, composing, collaborating, this electrifying personality spreads high voltage energy. Of course I can mention. High voltage energy wherever he is. Jazz, fusion, rock, classical music, whatever. He manages it all with his constantly evolving repertoire and challenging his own boundaries. His music has supported so many social causes with a kitty of national awards adorning his home. His accomplishments are something that I cannot sum up in mere words. Let us know more about this Padma Shri awardee. As always, I wanted to know what else makes him happy and occupied. So here we go. He's very passionate about cooking, enjoys drawing, and is happy going on shopping sprees. Loves watching a lot of movies and does gardening and feels origami is his best stress buster. Let us welcome our own Palakkad Mahadevan, flying high in the north, Shankar Mahadevan. Padma Shri Awadi Shankar Mahadevan for all of us. Hello, Sudha, how are you doing? There is. Hello. I can't see you. There is a network glitch. I can see you though. Yes, you are there. Okay. Now I can see you. Thank you for being with us today. I mean, amidst all your activity and busy schedule, of course, lockdown will slow it down a bit, but I'm sure you find new ways of keeping yourself busy. What an honor it is uh, being with you, Sudha, on this show. Really, I've always looked up to you as an artist uh, who has accomplished so much at such a such an amazing time period and it's so inspiring for, uh, you know, uh, for people all over the world who are especially youngsters who want to take up Carnatic classical music. You know, you have done so much service to to classical music. It's just uh, amazing. And I really, really, you know, I'm honored to be with you on this chat. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, people listening out there also have a great time. I'm looking forward to this one. And, uh, yeah, I mean, here I am in my house uh, doing all kinds of activities and... Uh, uh, you know, it's strange times, isn't it? To hear this validation from you first, I have to say thank you. Because I admire you and look up at you with a lot of awe. And, uh, you know, that how can one person be doing all of this? That kind <laughs> of a feeling. <laughs> yeah. well, I've been teaching, I've been cooking, I've been doing shows like this online. And, of course, you know that we, ha we are invited for a lot of chat conversation sessions you mm -hmm. must be having a lot of them as well right? oh yeah I mean, so. uh, somehow during this lockdown period i seem to be more busy than uh, than other times because uh, uh, you know we have we are 
composing so many songs in multi languages, which is, you know, uh, Sudha, as you also may be definitely doing it, like like how you did Maitri Majata. Uh, you know, for us, uh, since we have the power of music with us, it's great to use it for a greater cause than just you know entertaining people. Yes. And, uh, you know, so so you know, in this this uh, COVID lockdown. I have done one song in Hindi, actually three songs in Hindi, one song in Marathi, one Marathi. song for the one song wow. for the uh, Navi Mumbai Municipal wow. Corporation, one song in Tamil with Kamala Hassan, one song in Malayalam with uh, uh, Chitraji and uh, you know the whole uh, Malayalam industry. Uh, so you know it's unbelievable the number of songs, and I'm so happy that through music, if if you are able to communicate. Uh, messages and inspire people. And, uh, tell them that you know, yeah, hang it there. This is a difficult time. I think uh, God has sent us on this planet for a purpose. Your videos are frozen, huh, Sudha? Yeah, yeah. I think the network is troubling a bit, but then we always have this at this time of the day. Though it's the best time to converse, we have this network congestion. But then we always brave it, you know, like, and then. We face so many challenges in life. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start the question round. Yeah. The show must go on. And before the question round, uh, sorry, Shankar, uh, because I can't, you know, you're coming in a little delayed. That time lag is making me come in button to your talk. Sorry. We always receive our guests with uh, a bouquet of flowers. But since you're so far away, I'm going to do it with a bouquet of Ragas, ragas that you like. Wow. Thank you so much, Sudha. Thank you. I was just telling you, when we put up the poster, there were so many comments, so many people. You are a, a colossal, I don't know, you are a cult figure. <laughs> That's all I can oh, say. Thank you so much. I wish your video was better because I can only say... So you had all the recordings and uh, 
are you waiting to you know for this lockdown period to uh, get to a kind of a new normal situation how are you managing all your schedule and besides of course all that you have sung all that you mentioned you know uh, uh, in the last 25 years or 30 years of my being in this industry uh, whether it you know it's whether it is composing or whether it is performing or whether it is you know uh, traveling and all kinds of stuff singing for other people singing for myself all these things i've been doing and never have i found you know even 5 4 5 days at a stretch in my own home to relax means what happens is when we when we take a break we normally take a holiday and we step out we go you know we go for a holiday somewhere out of the country or somewhere to a farm house or we go there never has there been an opportunity where i am sitting at home and i'm doing normal things from morning to evening you know just just regular stuff so see on one hand this whole thing that's happening around us disturbing me terribly the way people are suffering the way you know uh, uh, migrant workers are suffering all over the country and it's terrible you see over there that is one side of my mind it's a, it's a mixed feeling but at the same time this particular uh, uh, time period has has brought me something really wonderful as far as my personal experience goes because i have never ever done you know normal stuff sitting at home just hanging in there you know knowing that tomorrow is a holiday and then also day after is a holiday and then the day after is also a holiday and then the day after that is also a holiday so that's a great feeling you know and us artists uh, you know uh, especially uh, when we are in the in the commercial field we miss out on one particular thing sudha is we do not have time to sit and innovate you know we are creating stuff yes every day absolutely we are yeah we are sitting and we are creating we are creating songs we are creating songs because there's a deadline a producer is waiting some other guy we have to deliver a song tomorrow is a show we have to rush here fly we don't have time to just step back sit create something innovate something spend some time with your own self and introspect and see where you are what you are what is it that you can improve upon what is the, what are the flaws in you uh, is there is, uh, have there has there been some fa- passions in my life which i want to follow and i want to try it out so you know sit just think innovate spend time for innovation you know and create new stuff and you know do stuff that you would otherwise love to do and you never found time to do so i have my hands full now actually <laughs> uh, that's so true that's so true i agree with every little word that you have uttered you know we never find the time to introspect to find out where our deficiencies lie where our vulnerability is you know music after a while i think you need to change tracks a bit otherwise you become stale and monotonous right so uh, what is your opinion by the way of the many concerts that are happening digitally do you think this is the way to go forward primarily or do you feel that this will go on even after lockdown is lifted for a few months see i really feel that the the internet has uh, revolutionized the world it has always revolutionized mm-hmm. the world and uh, during this time uh the number of activities that are happening on the internet look like how we are chatting now otherwise i really don't know when uh, you would have had the time to fly down to mumbai or me fly down to chennai organize a show where it is going to be a chat show between sudha raghunathan and shankar madhavan that looks like an impossible thing because you would be busy with your kacheri and i'll be busy doing something and even probably this thought maybe we would have thought of a a, a jugal bandi or a concert we would have never yes. thought of you know so this is what this is exactly what i'm saying your mind starts thinking differently because you're pushed against the wall and when a person is pushed against the wall the creativity takes one more step further you know and then then you start thinking mm-hmm. differently this is why fantastic and i'm telling you innumerable things like this have happened in the, in the in the past uh, days that uh, during the lockdown so using the internet 
these concerts i have performed for innumerable number of people where different kinds of audiences whether it's for a social cause or whether it's for doctors or whether it's you know just music lovers listeners doing instagram live with you know my friends and uh, uh, from the industry like you like many other singers uh, and you know uh, people are people are getting to see a different side of you you know they they really love this people want to people have always seen sudhar ragunathan sitting and you know amazingly enchanting you with a concert in in on, but hardly they must have seen you do a casual chat and ask uh, shankar madhavan what is it that is uh, eating what is he cooking what is he doing it's people love to see the the other side of the artist so yes. this is amazing to begin with now uh, coming to you know whether this will continue after the lockdown you know uh, it's never going to be uh, either or you know it's never been see when uh, 50 years back there was only one doordarshan and then after that came the multiple television channels they came and then your you know tata sky and other uh, you know cable boxes yes. came they took over then you used to wonder oh i mean uh, but people still watch doordarshan people still this thing people still listen to the radio you know what i mean and then after that the internet came and the netflix and all all these kinds of uh, uh, digital platforms have come so people have switched over to that but that doesn't mean that people stop watching television it's this 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 and this so similarly people people would come to your concert if there is a narada gana sabha and people would also uh, log in and you know this has become very convenient and very amazing that in your you're sitting on your laptop there is sudana gurathan chatting with you it's it's amazing this this feeling they'll never get so there are different kinds of emotions that have happened so i think this is going to continue uh, in in different ways and uh, yeah i really hope that it continues it's it's fantastic <laughs> so i'm going to take you down memory lane mm-hmm. when you were 13 years old do you remember what you did you had the yeah. opportunity to play the veena for two legends for a devotional album pandit bhimsen joshi ji and the queen of music lata mangeshkar ji so we definitely want to know what you remember of that of course it's a long way back but still i'm sure it stays etched in your mind you know uh, so that this is this was the beginning of my journey in music actually and i was a little boy and i was uh, you know i used to play the harmonium and i was learning veena from uh, uh, shrimati lalita venkatraman from from mumbai and i used to be okay. playing veena and there is this amazing composer uh, in marathi in marathi music uh, called uh, pandit shrinivas khale sahab okay now if you have not heard his music i would really request i'll send you some of the some of the stuff that he has done i feel he was just a path breaking composer he mm-hmm. was just out of this world just his choice of notes just the way his melody traveled it mm-hmm. was just a surprise for you and it is so beautiful and everybody you know uh, uh, you know respected him and everybody were up to him that how can he compose like this and he was my very very dear friend's uncle and you know we used to, and i used to be just playing around like that over there so he was doing this album with uh, with uh, lata ji and uh, pandit ji and they were coming together for the first time you know and uh, he was looking for a veena player for a particular piece because somebody had played the veena already uh, uh, along with the sitar and uh, he was not very happy with it this, he said that the soul is missing this that he was generally discussing with my friend's father so my friend uh, rajesh pradhan he he said uh, uh, kaka ha was out of means uh, kaka he also plays he also plays so i said hey man why are you just uh, this thing he said no 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 he plays the veena so he just looked at and he he was like he, he was too lovable shrinivas khale sir he said are give uh, ne re veena give ne means get the veena we see you i couldn't refuse so i went home and uh, i brought the Vina and he said, "Chalo, play yeah. some." So I played whatever little some ragam, some tanam. I played for him, a uh, little piece, something. He said, "Tum bajaoge mere liye." Wow! I said, uh, "I was shocked." I said, "What is it?" So, chalo, ye hai piece. Abhi mere ko baja ke batao. And I remember the piece. This was the piece. I'll tell you. 
This was a piece. It is not a. I was a little stunned. Said, "Can you just repeat that once more?" And then he repeated it, and instantly I played the whole piece in one shot in front of him. He was so impressed. He said, "Tomorrow you're coming Man. and you're recording." And then I went there and I I played. It. It's a beautiful album called Ram Sham Gunagan, and uh, where Pandit Ji, Lata Ji, they both have sung together, and I have played Vena in two songs. That's how it started off. But that's uh, <clears throat> such a precious jewel in your big box of awards, right? I mean, it's not an award, but, but I think it's an award. I think it's the biggest award, and it's the beginning. It's a big, as they say, now on Ashirwad I'm going to get. This is the beginning Ashirwad yeah. which I got from two of the biggest doyans in three of the biggest Pandit Srinivas Khare and uh, uh, Lata Ji and uh, uh, you know Pandit Bhimsen Joshi. So three of them, <laughs> the greatest blessing that I could ever get. No, when we start off on our musical journey, we start slow, and then there's a point. where you go like you're on a roller coaster mm. so i feel that you got down to the roller coaster ride with that list the whole world <laughs> sat up shamar really <laughs> i must have listened to it at least 100 times at oh various points of life i'm so flattered on the flight while i go to sleep while i'm doing some cleaning chores while i just sitting and reading a book it will be in the background there was a time when i was addicted to it you know so the ideally i really i'm bullied you know uh, i feel that there are in any artists lives now if you're a, if you're a performing artist or any artist of any kind you know god has got in front of him he's got some switches you know i imagine i imagine these black switches in front of him so and the names are already written over there and then he looks down <laughs> and he says chalo uh, i think time has come to switch this guy on Tak puts the switch on. Once that switch is on, your career takes off. And then, then there after a few days, ah, okay, okay, this guy. Oh, Sudha Raghunathan. Oh, she's amazing. Let me put her switch on. Tak, he puts it. So it's like that. So breathless was a kind of a switch which, you know, God, God just put that switch on and and it just uh, gave me an identity. It is such a simple song actually, and uh, the idea was novel. You know the idea was. How did the idea germinate in you? How did it sit on your little computer box? Yeah. I'll tell you. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I had just about got into the industry and I was doing all kinds of stuff. I was busy singing jingles every day. I used to sing about ten, twelve jingles because it is, it's, it's really, really, you know, you get to meet a lot of people, a lot of music composers who are extremely busy. At the same time, you yes. get good. and uh, you you're getting exposure and your jingles start becoming a hit like my first jingle uh, uh, cadbury's which i sang that was also a very big hit you know so stuff like that was happening and uh, people used to tell me you know why don't you do a private uh, that is a non film album why don't you uh, focus on something like th- those times you know there was a very uh, yeah, it was a very important time for non film singers like you know dalir mehndi alisha chinai all these people yes. they were getting popular and they were doing non film stuff it's not filmy stuff so i was too busy doing my jingles and all and you know i i do, i was saying yeah 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 i'll do it i'll do it. i'm very casual about everything i was doing that then then i got a call saying that you know uh, mr javed akhtar uh, you know he wants to meet you along with hmb and they want you and javed akhtar to collaborate and do a project mm. together so i mean javed akhtar i was you know i was shocked pleasantly shocked because he is a person who's written shole he is a person who's written divar he is a person who's written some of the greatest films greatest that yeah. in film industry has ever and wow he wants to meet me and he wants to collaborate with me i said this opportunity i should never leave never let go so we went we went we met at uh, the hmb office and we were sitting and chatting and uh, you know i was so all struck by the person here he was a gigantic personality and me a nobody is sitting just next to him but the the thing about these great people from the minute 
first minute they make you feel com uh, comfortable they make you so comfortable that you feel that you are one of them you know just the way they talk they this, these are some of the things that i've learned from really big 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 people and he was so comfortable and i was also comfortable just chatting generally discussing and he said you know shankar sahab mere mere dimag mein ek idea bahut din se ghum raha hai i mean he he was telling me that you know an idea which was in his brain for many many years and he discussed it with many people including many classical musicians uh right from the north and they were very excited about it but they did not know what to do with it they did not know how to implement it he is saying you know when i hear a concert for example uh when you do an alap or when you when a person does a, a a tanam or a sargam or when he improvises at a particular there are these strange curves and parabolas that happen you know you know physics made that parabola it is got strange curves and strange parabolas it goes up and down and unpredictability is there it's very unpredictable but uh, whereas when we come down and start composing a song we have a very structured mm -hmm. method where you know we have a mukhada there is a pallavi then there is a music then there is a charanam then there is one more music then there is a chant so it's a very structured thing. why can't we implement that kind of a feeling in a song so mm -hmm. this was the germ of the idea honestly it was javed ji's idea the whole the seed was born in javed ji's head i said this is very exciting javed sir but i don't know how to do it but it's very exciting the thought is very exciting hmm. and then you know we we started discussing we are sitting in the hme office ha huh? that that uh, whatever that hr person or that person is sitting right in front of us we are ignoring him totally and we are only discussing yeah. and we are saying that uh, you know why don't we make the whole song in one breath at least sound like it's in one breath are so he huh? was very excited he said let's do this so how do we begin how do we So I said, Javi ji, I'll just you know, and uh, Kalyani is my one of another of my favorite rags, like the the bouquet that you. I'm so touched by this bouquet. This is a most unique bouquet that anybody has given me. <laughs> Thank you, Shankar. So Kalyani, I said, Kalyani, I said, just just the thought Kalyani came to me, and I said, Javi ji, I'll give you a meter. You just write in this meter, whatever mm. you feel. You know, maybe it's a story about a person, it's a love story, whatever you feel like, you write. So I gave him a meter. I just gave him this meter. I said, "You just write it." So he said, "Yeah, you know, okay." So a few days later, I get a call, uh, uh, and those days there were no mobile phones or anything. He just called my house and he said, uh, "You know, come to my house uh, in Juhu. I used to live in Navi Mumbai." So I said, "Yeah, I'll come." So I went there. and he was inside then he came out this he handed me about four full scape sheets full of words from the beginning to the end from the top to the bottom uh, even i remember Oops. it was written above the margin also you know that that little space about there from there yes. to the end i saw it and i got a you know god what is this he said yeah ye hai tumhara breathless hai this is your breathless i said, looked at it and i got scared i said what is this then i said you know do one thing you just read it for me once let me just let me just assimilate it so he read it koi jo mila to mujhe aisa lagta tha jaise meri sari duniya mein jeet aur urud aur rang ki bar ka hai kuch and ye mai ki wo isi hai he just read the whole thing and i was so fascinated and scared at the same time that what have i got myself into and how am i going to implement this how is this going to and i've committed to this big big you know artist a huge uh, personality i said okay javed ji sure. just, just give me this i took the paper went down took a taxi and uh, those days there were no mobile phones so i used to have this little digital recorder not digital that those little recorder yes. that's mini tapes yeah. used to play you know so i put that yeah. at each line i started composing each line and and every line if you observe in that composition it it the, the composition also corresponds to the the effect of the word which is there it, it you know uh, some i mean i have tried it so i did it and by the time i reached navi mumbai breathless was composed and i, I mean the composition was ready then of course implementing yeah. it was a huge task which i did somehow it happened yeah can we hear you sing a few lines shankar just uh, just like okay. that uh -huh. <laughs>
कोई जो मिला तो मुझे ऐसा लग जाता था जैसे मेरी सारी दुनिया में गई तो मेरे दे और रंगों की बरगा है कुछ को भी ना दी है मैं गिरूं सी अब सारी फिजाएं अरे गिरूं सी अब सारी हवाएं ओए हुई सी अब सारी दिशाएं बदली हुई सी अब सारी यादें जागी उमंग के अंदर भी रहें दिल सांस में डूब फोटो भी रंग में आंखों में सपने के सपनों में भी दूर जाने वो रंग என்ன <laughs> 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 it's as simple as that no, what is that now what is that now no no i mean this is this is nothing i mean you can do longer tanams than this no big deal it is just it is just a regular you know our training in classical music and i sing i have to sing this in every concert and i sing that in triple the speed you know normally in a concert the speed is कोई जो मिला तो मुझे ऐसा लगता था जैसे मेरी सारी दुनिया में गई तो मेरे दो रंगों की बरगा है कुछ को भी याद ही है मैं हुई सी अब सारे बिदाए बह गई हुई सी अब दिस इज द टेंपो आई सिंग विद द होल बैंड सो इट्स 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 ग्रेट फन ऑफ ऑफकोर्स बट आई ब्रीथ इन बिटवीन लाइक अ नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बीइंग सो नो बिग डील इट इज जस्ट दैट यू नो इट्स बिकम अ काइंड ऑफ शंकर महादेवन ब्रेथलेस ब्रेथलेस शंकर महादेवन इट जस्ट गेव मी माय आइडेंटिटी एंड आई एंड आई रियली थैंक द पीपल एंड यू नो ऑफकोर्स समबडी अबाउट देयर एंड एंड ऑफकोर्स जावेद अख्तर सर breathless mahadevan makes audience breathless <laughs> and the song breathless by itself <laughs> it can go on well you will transcend in many ways i i really feel that in catering to different uh, groups of audience how with your unique uh, collaborations and uh, i would say it's a, it's like an exploration or an innovation of putting together many genres of music like indian classical jazz rock fusion folk film spiritual music how does this process i mean of putting together all of this happen you know uh, i am a kind of a student forever you know i i keep learning all the time and uh, this is all honestly sudha this is just an extension of my learning it's just a learning process not i mean i'm learning every day new things when i meet a sure. when i hear when i when i heard for example when i heard gulam ali khan saab for the first time i just say i mean I, i was wondering what is this singing this is incredible i mean how can a person sing like this and then that kind of instigates me that you know kind of uh, inspires me that i have to learn it i have to sing apni tasveer or i have to sing chupke chupke like gulam ali khan it you know it's it's a thing where i start feeling restless i have to do it so you know somehow you know i used to listen to gulam ali day in and day out and i learned you know most of his ghazals and i used to sing a lot of his ghazals besides carnatic music and the and the beauty is it's it's like our, it's like our carnatic music but so similar but so different it's so similar but so different because everything at the end of the day is over here the way you can segregate a, the style of the same raga the same composition if you mm-hmm. sing like a kirtanam and if if gulam ali khan sahab sings a, a ghazal how how different it is at the same time how similar it is so these things used to fascinate me so it's just an extension of your learning process as i mean being a student forever so uh, i got and remaining in this city the city did a lot to me you know being in mumbai you get to meet a lot of people and luckily for me i mean it's my you met the right my, at the right time <laughs> yeah be at the right place at the right time with the right kind of people you know with the right kind of people i got an opportunity to interact with right kinds of people and grow as a musician and not remain closed you know just appreciate every form of music if it even if it is rap to you know classical to to and i wanted to uh involve myself in all these forms of music that's why i did all these kinds of things and still i really feel honestly i really feel that i've not even scratched the surface there's so much more to do there's so much more to do actually this answer shankar has sent out a message 
to the younger generation, I feel. First of all, your humility, the fact that you say that you want to learn every day. Number two, you heard Gulam Ali's and music and you want, you know, you were struck by it, but you didn't keep quiet. You didn't just listen to it. You wanted to repeat it. That perseverance. Yes. Right? And the third is your commitment to music. That you say it's all in the mind is easy to say it, but I know how difficult it is. To sing a Kriti is like getting on one separate train. To sing a Ghazal <laughs> is on another train. And all going in different directions, all within the boundary of Saptaswara. But you use your voice so beautifully to align yourself with the style. I want to hear a Ghazal. Music, Carnatic classical. When I say our music, it's Carnatic classical music. And I, I'm not. I don't refer to our music only when I'm talking to you because it's a you're a Carnatic musician. I say our music to 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 anybody when I say when I say it's our music. That's Carnatic music, right on top over there. And I think that is what built the foundation, you know. And it's the greatest form of music. It it, it mm -hmm. grooves. It can it can groove. It can. You know, blend itself with any other form of music. It finds its way. It it just teaches you so many small small formulas, which we can talk about. You know how I have applied those formulas in hardcore commercial uh, uh, environment. So since you wanted a ghazal, I'll, I'll just sing a ghazal for you. Oh, this is one of my favorite ghazals of Hasa. He came to my house and surprised me one day on my, on, on my puja. There was a puja in my house in, uh, when, ah. I, when I made a new farmhouse. Uh, so everybody, all my friends and all had come. And then one day, uh, then we were, after the whole puja, you know, the whole day, you are very tired and you're just relaxing in the evening. So Hari, Hari Haran, is my, he's my neighbor. So he came, he came, you know, into my room and he said, hey, somebody's come to me. I said, Hari, yaar, who's come now? Maybe I thought somebody from the village has come, you know, hello, namaste, bull <laughs> So I said, who's that? Yeah. He said, no, come, no, come, come. He's come. Yaar, just tell him to sit. No, I'm just so, so tired. He said, come, come, yeah, just come. He pulled me and he went. And I saw that Gulam Ali Khansal sitting, standing in the middle of my house. I said, what is happening? He said, I came to the <laughs> so I knew that you're doing a puja and I extended my stay by two days so that I can come and meet you. And he came and he sang in my house. We did not have a mic. We got a, we, somebody ran into the village and got a microphone. Somebody borrowed a harmonium. Don't ask. And and he performed for about three, four hours, only for about 15 of us. So this is one of my favorite. What a blessing. What a blessing. Mm -hmm. uh. Shades, wow! It's like a beautiful painting, isn't it? I mean, see, all notes are there, but the way it just flows, uh, yeah. I mean, so much to learn, yeah. So much, uh, such great artists. I mean, I agree with you. Yeah, we are always a student, permanently student. Yeah. And <laughs> so you can talk about this. Sorry, sorry. Please. Music, Carnatic music is Carnatic. right on top of, right on top of this. All these are little, you know, I imagine Carnatic music to be one huge tree trunk, you know. 
and all these are little branches coming out of them you know all these whether it's film music whether it's pop music or rock music or whether it is you know ghazal or whether it is folk music fusion world music all these are little branches coming out of this huge tree trunk which is uh, you know carnatic classical music which binds everything together according to me hmm. awesome awesome to hear you say that that's a great revelation uh, you sang all these anthem shankar for the child girl child for aids awareness for uh, corruption khatam karne ke liye or uh, for lead india for teach india non stop india so you've also sung for our jawans and you are the uh, brand ambassador for akshay patra yes yes yeah yes, yes. in fact uh, yes so this is a huge list right this is a real huge list, list. yeah yesterday i was live on z because uh, huh. akshay patra is an amazing organization and is a greatest midday meal program they have fed more than 3 billion children today can you believe it 3 billion yeah. not million it's 3 billion so they are just amazing so you know yeah i mean and they made me the goodwill ambassador so i sang a song uh, composed a song for them that's a, you know that's the least we can do because as i was telling you we've been we have been sent from above with the power of music so we we should use it not only for giving joy but also you know you know maybe giving out a message changing people's lives it it makes a big difference i think so and continuing this you've uh, sung in the presence of two great presidents of india <laughs> yeah honorable yeah. abul kalam ji and pranab mukherjee ji so what was your take away from those two concerts abdul kalam sir was just amazing i'm sure you have also performed over there and he is such a yeah he's such a child in you know. he was a darling you know and uh, you know i got a, a chance to perform uh, in front of him in rashtrapati bhavan uh, in those lawns you know they used to uh, that time they used to hold these private concerts yes. in the lawn and uh, uh, who was with me the great mandolin shrinivas me and him wow I, yeah we we were like brothers you know and uh, one of the greatest artists and greatest human beings you know amazing person so we both were there and you know uh, shiva mani was there and loy mandon sir we did we did a kind of a fusion concert and then uh, i still remember we were all having dinner in the lawns and you know the president was also moving around you know uh, it was not crazy security like how it is now you know he was moving around right. and I still remember uh, he came and he served you know gulab jamun to us let me serve you and then he came and he served and he said this music uh, and his favorite was binai and his favorite song was yandaro mahan bahu and he yes said, yes oh, can you do one version of yandaro mahan bahu and send it to me i'd love it and this music put it in a cd huh, and i will market it he was telling me this is the words he used i'll mark i said you are the president of india where you going to market my music but he was too sweet <laughs> and of course now uh, rama kovind ji also i just we, we did a uh, you know proper commercial hindi show in front of him where i sang all my popular songs of course i couldn't sing songs like kajrare and uh, you know all those uh, uh, disco numbers but i sang songs with meaning songs which had you know uh, about our nation so many of the patriotic songs i've composed in my films which have you know which are which are which, which have given a lot of messages so i sang all those things and he was so sweet he invited us to have tea with him and his wife and his family was there really i mean a humbling experience uh, uh, to see that you know you are one of those privileged ones who you know constitute to about 0.00001% of this population so just you know just gratitude that's all nothing else i mean what can i say So I'm just going to take a short break of uh, to to read out the names of those who are enjoying what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Gautam Kartik, Gautam Kartik, Indra Kailasam, Shiva Shakti, Shiva Nation, Janaki Ramakrishnan, Kalyan Raman, T, Vidya Venkat, Sashank Subramaniam, Nandini Chagrajan, Vidhi Satya, Jayshree Bala Subramaniam. Devika Rajan Kausalya Sharada from Malaysia Geeta Chandran um they are asking you to come a little closer uh, because your volume is a little low it seems oh really sorry see abhi theek hai yeah. no 
no yeah. i accept so, it yeah. on my laptop i'm not going to do on this ipad i think it's because of the ipad but you know your video is going no. on free suda i'm just seeing one uh, picture of yours and i'm hearing your voice right from the beginning yes it's getting hazy yeah it's getting hazy so the point is the uh, this is real congestion time shankar sorry oh you're completely frozen now So tell me your experience as an actor now. This is the best thing. <laughs> Singer know, to actor. How did you fall into the groove? Please don't embarrass me. I'm not. I'm not an actor from any angle. But no, I mean, uh, in the sense that you took on that that avatar also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, this is uh, still being in Maharashtra. There is this amazing musical. which is like you know like like you can say like the shankara varnam uh, in telugu or some of the great uh, tirana monambal in 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 tamil uh, similarly there is a great play called uh, are you there suda hello sorry 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 My apologies to the audience. Audience, they are very. But we're back here. Yeah. We don't give up easily. Yeah. So we're trying our best to get back. Shankar, are you there? I am very much there. I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? But I can't hear your audio. Oh, really? I can hear you very clearly. I can't so hear you. Can hear me? Yeah. Now yes. Now yes. yeah so this, there is this play called kattiyar kalzad gusli which is like almost like the tirana mohanambal in tamil or you know you can say uh, like um, uh, shankara varnam in telugu it is a musical cult play which is about 75 years old and uh, you know that and those days the actors used to perform on stage you know they used to they used to sing at the same time act and uh, yes and uh, if you have heard of this great singer called uh, vasantrao deshpande ji he was a natya sangeet singer yes of course yes you know jitendra abhishek ji all these people they all doyans of uh, you know classical music and jitendra abhishek ji had composed the music of katyar kalzad gosli so in in it all in its own respect it was like a taj mahal standing over there an amazing piece of music and here comes my very dear friend subodh bhave who is a fabulous actor in marathi he is done role of lok kathela he is done bal gandharva he is an amazing actor so he came and he met me and i said sir a uh, film ka music karna hai uh, i want you to do uh, music for my film i said yeah which one i thought another marathi film he said katyar kalzad gosli i said you are mad over i mean it's crazy you you this all you will get is you will get you know uh, a lot of flack for this because you are you are trying to you know touch uh, hamper with the taj mahal which is standing for so many years he said no sir i mean uh, we have to do it because it's that particular play has only been performed on stage it's never come on to the celluloid so we should bring it out on right. screen give it a different magnitude give it scale give it music and all that and i want you to compose some original songs for it, it means your compositions not jitendra abhishek so we'll have both of them i said this is completely digging for trouble because you know you know how generally audiences are i mean when something that has been in your mind for 75 years and then you come and you add one new thing to it and obviously my fear was you know look what pandit ji has done and look what you have done yeah look what pandit ji has done and look what you have done this is going to be the com- comparison and i was i was dreading that thing i said mm. no no and all he didn't listen to it anyway he said no let's try it at least so there is this writer swanam kirkire uh, we were sitting and we were just you know generally jamming on ideas and all that so he came up with one line in marathi it says sur niragas ho i'll tell you what the meaning of sur niragas sur niragas sur niragas ho means your sur your melody your singing should be innocent you know so let let everybody's music be innocent it's not about being in sur 
it's not about being you know prolific or being a great singer it has to be innocent and it has that rides above all so let it's a it's a prayer saying that sur niragas ho we got that line and we said wow this is amazing let us weave the whole film around this line so i composed yeah. this first song for the film with many people and it's become uh, it's a ganesh ji's bhajan which has become very 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 popular okay. so the, it starts out like this So the minute he wrote it, I composed this in two minutes. Then I said, hmm. "This exciting is this is you know we should just go on a pure journey. We should not go on a on a trip that you know. Oh, what Jitendra Abhishek has done. Let me surpass it. Let me try to match that. Let me let's not worry. Let's go on something from true from the heart. And you know, Sudha, I'll really tell you, it has really been I think Jitendra Abhishek ji's blessing on us." that we composed uh about 7 to 8 original songs in the film okay and there are wow. also compositions traditional compositions of his which were there which is 75 years old so both of them playing at you know in the same film coming at different parts and now where today's viewer does not know which is the song which is composed by jitendra abhishek which is the song which is composed by shankar mahadevan so that is the greatest compliment that i have managed to achieve in this film and i said oh my god the minute this surni ragas ho became a hit we we put that hmm. song on television during ganesh uh, uh, festival and okay it flooded i mean it reached a million views whatever that regular million million views and all that let's not even talk about that but the appreciation the love that we got immediately was so overwhelming i said okay we are on the right path thank god and then the film took mm. off and uh, now coming to the acting part there was one they were they were looking i mean there was these great actors who were playing the roles and all then we were looking for one person playing the pandit ji's role and uh. pandit uh, bhavani shankar in the film and they they approached many people uh, you know and uh, somehow they they did not agree so subodh was looking for then then he looked at me and said sir aap hi kyun nahi ho jate pandit ji i said you now 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 this is like you're pushing your luck too much then he said no come and give a screen test this that ye wo forced me forced me i said okay let me just let me try it out why not you know and then somehow you know they did a screen test and uh, and i liked the role and i related to the personality of the role you know it's about it's about no egos it's about just your music being there for others just living the present moment and feeling good about others generally i related to that character and i said okay let me just do it and i did it and of course i mean rest is history it that's like one feather on my cap but i'm sure you feel that fulfillment right i also did that did you act in a film you... <laughs> not really but i've uh... done ads you know where i have huh. the sarees and stuff so that was like acting because i was singing and also playing the tampura on top of a rock uh, ah. in the midst of falls adirapalli falls yeah wow so it was scary what ad was this uh, it was for uh, poti's uh, parampara their parampara line of sarees i'll definitely very look interesting up. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the other Pali Falls. You can look at it. Oh, definitely. So after this, we move to I think something which is very close to your heart because uh, Esan and Loy are like your two buddies, best buddies, right? So we want to know you how you all got together and how this whole journey moved forward with so many films and all of them hits. You know. Uh... Uh, Sudha, this year we complete 25 years of composing music with Shankar Esan Rao as Shankar Esan Rao. 25 years, and it's been such an amazing journey. 
uh, it's really, I mean, never had we anticipated this. Now, you won't believe it. When we started off till today, amongst the three of us, we have never signed a piece of paper or an agreement or a legal document saying that, hey, we three are, you know, going to be, you know, partners in this thing. We are going to divide the money, etc. Mm-hmm. Whatever, you know, it happens in a regular partnership. Yeah. We don't have a single piece of document. Of course, we sign with the producer, with the director when we sign a film. That's different. That that we sign as Shankar as an lawyer. But between the three of us, yeah. we have never ever signed anything. And still, we are going so strong. And it's amazing this. You know, and but I must admit, it is it's like a marriage, you know. The this 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 particular uh, uh trio, this partnership, you have to work on it every day. I'm not talking about the music part of it. You have to work on the relationship yes. every day. You have to work on creativity every day. You have to work on it every morning. You cannot let it lie low and you know let it take take things for granted. Just like in a marriage, you know, you cannot take your family for granted, whether it's your wife, whether it's your children. You have to give them that love. You have to give them that respect. Similarly, over here, even though we meet every day from Monday to Friday, tomorrow, if I'm getting delayed for some reason, going to the studio by half an hour, I call and I tell them, that, hey, I'm going to be half an hour late or vice versa. I some calls or Lloyd calls, hey, I'm stuck over here. My car is punctured, whatever. But we don't. We don't assume that you know it's okay, yeah. I mean, he'll be there and I'll reach at one o'clock, no issues. So stuff like you don't take each other for granted. You respect each other's musical ideas, you know. If see, there are three of us, it's like a big crowd over there. Three people composing one melody. It's a big crowd, you know. So the only way it can work is you respect everybody's musical idea. You don't you don't yes. put it, you know. I give a, da, I put one idea and you you should not say, ah, that's crap, yeah. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't say immediately it's crap, you know. You respect that idea, allow that idea to grow a bit and then if that, then <laughs> still it is sounding, you know, horrible, then throw it out. But that is the only way you, you give each other your space, you give each other your respect, respect your ideas and do not mix your family life with your professional life we have had a fantastic run and they are amazing as human beings and amazing musicians. And for me, I got to learn so much from the both of them because one is an amazing jazz musician and one is an amazing rock musician and, you know, a pop musician. So both of them have contributed so much in my life. They became part of my vocabulary and I became part of their vocabulary. So it's been an, it's been an amazing. And when you look at a song, you know, we can see a song it's like placing a camera in three different angles. So the same mm. melody, I'm looking at it from a particular yes. angle. Esam looks at it from one angle. They look different because the same object you see from three different places, it looks different, you know. So the, ob- the objectivity changes and you come up with new stuff. And that's, I think that is our winning stroke. You know, We are, we are so versatile as people. Yeah. So it's, it's amazing. It's a blessing, really. God bless you all. I mean, this should just continue. 25 should just go forward. Thank you. Thank so when you compose for the movie, uh, I'm just curious, you compose the tune first, right? And then the lyrics are uh, mingled into the tune? No. See, I think I think if you're a, if you're a decent composer, uh, if, you, if you're a composer of even a, of a slight standard, you shouldn't worry, you wouldn't worry about the fact that you know, oh my God, have I to compose the tune first? Or see, if you, if anybody gives me a set of words, I can compose straight looking at the words. Or right. if I'm asked to compose a tune, I can compose a tune and the lyricist will write on the words. So there have been various instances, you know. Uh, like, uh, for example, you know, this this particular song, I don't know whether you've heard it. Uh, it was, uh, of course. So this, uh, this song, the dun, 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 what the, the the name of the film was Dil Chahata Hai. Okay, and we yes. were, this song, uh, it started off with a bass line, dun, 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 something we were writing something. Then the next morning, when I was having a shower, I said, you know, these four bass notes, dun, 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 
it fits in exactly mm. with the title of our song dil chahta hai so i said you know we lost yeah. it for the romantic situation this is the title song so stuff like that happens sometimes uh, you know uh, uh, javed ji says writes some lines and he says uh, for the same film there is a song called uh, there is a conversational song called jaane kyun log pyar karte hain jaane kyun log pyar karte hain yaar uh you know pyar mein ye hai pyar mein wo hai i don't know why they why they fall in love this was a situation so he said jaane kyun log pyar karte hain so he wrote these words then i composed it jaane kyun log pyar karte hain jaane kyun jaane kyun jaane kyun stuff like that so sometimes it is the lyrics come sometimes you make a tune for example there is a there is a song Uh, which i feel is one of our landmark songs amongst few others and we are very proud of this song because uh, some songs are beyond ragas talas lyrics it's beyond it just communicates an emotion which is beyond everything and it just comes and touches you and it is there to stay forever so one of those songs like the sky so, like the sky you see yeah Yeah, it just it just it just comes from somewhere. I don't know where. That is that is that's a blessing that we have. So we were sitting in this German bakery in uh, in in Pune. We were composing for a film. We were having breakfast, and Loy said, "You know, come come come, let's go back to our room." We we were staying at the Blue Diamond Hotel, just close to the restaurant. So come come, let's go back to the hotel. I have a tune playing in my head, and I think it's it's so simple, it's so beautiful. Let's just put it down. So we had set up our whole gear and all over there, and. immediately he put that tune down and then i he composed the first two lines i composed a few other lines and the tune was ready in about 10 minutes the whole tune was ready including the charanam and everything tune was ready mm-hmm. then this was early morning then javed akhtar who was in the next room he he woke up and he came at his usual time you know when we were supposed to meet at 10 o'clock he came and we said javed ji we have this tune we would like to play it for you and uh, he said okay play and we played the tune and there was silence for about 2 minutes then i said what i think he didn't like it he didn't like it so much he said no this tune is so honest this tune is so right. honest the notes are so honest and sincere there is sincerity in the melody and it's very difficult to get a sincere melody you know so he said there is sincerity in the melody and now my reaction is i'm scared now that's what he said because wow. all these years of the poetry that i've written i cannot get that poetic thing into this song i don't want to do that i want to i want my song to be as sin- the lyrics to be as sincere as your melody and i need some time to write this song please do not rush me on this i want to take my time and believe mm. me he took 25 days to write that song i used to call him up every you know kya javed ji kuch hua anything lyrics no no i'm not still not got it and then he wrote the song har ghadi badal rahi hai roop zindagi chhao hai kabhi kabhi hai dhoop zindagi ghar par yahan har jiyo jo hai sama Now, Sudha, tell me what is there in this melody? There's nothing. Sa ni sa ni sa. There's nothing, but it is. That's what I'm saying. Some things, it just touches you for for a reason which is not known to you, and that's why he wrote. And he wrote something that's going to be valid for any human being for the rest of his life. Har pal yaha, ji bhar jio, jo hai sama kal ho na ho. Now look at the situation we are in right now. I mean, live yes. a moment to the fullest. You never know what's going to happen next moment. And he took, and it's such a simple uh, set of lyrics, but such intense meaning and depth. So yeah, I mean, we've had some amazing uh, things happening. And looking back, yeah, I mean, the body of work has been quite satisfying. I must say. I think that simplicity and the sincerity, the honesty, really touched yeah. everyone. That's right. Yeah. uh there there are a few questions uh would you like to address one or two yeah please uh, please go ahead please go ahead so tell him about uh, 
oh my god they're asking us to sing together and then uh, <laughs> i'm just quickly going over that <laughs> people are asking no, you for something and... no there is a there is a lag shankar i don't think it will no, work no, if we sing together but there is something missing in you today what is missing where is the where is the mogra ya <laughs> lockdown <laughs> lockdown <laughs> i'm scared to buy flowers honestly i know i can imagine yeah uh. and i don't like to be so fake with you because you are a genuine person so i don't want to be fake class chalo let's sing something together now let's sing ah uh, wait they want to uh, they asked you to sing sandana tendrale oh that i'll sing but before that we'll sing something now one marathi song they want yeah i'll do all that don't worry but before that let's do something okay. you sing you sing some some any rag what you feel like and then i'll just uh, improvise little bit your people will be happy one See, see. I tell you, what's missing? Your, uh, you know, I heard you sing uh, Mahaganapati. Yeah. Mahaganapati. What? I just sing a little bit of that. This is C. Okay. C. Obviously, we can't sing together. So you sing first, then I will sing a little. Maya. Yeah. I I don't know what I can sing and see. It's your it's your day today. You have to sing. You have to sing. You can sing. La 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 ri <laughs> You know, when I when I close my eyes, I'm just reminded of MLB Amma. Amazing. The... <laughs> Thank you, Shankar. Thank you. Yeah. I wish I could hear you better, and we could really sing together. But then this, yeah. you know, this. We'll do a show together. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Definitely. Great. I'm ready. Mahaganapati namo namo si Mahaganapati namo namo si Maheshwara Putra. Thank you very much. Mahaganapati namo namo si Maheshwara री <laughs> Now over to you for Tendrele. What is that? Sandana Tendrele. <laughs> oh, I, I hope I remember the words. Huh? Wait. Just a few lines. Sandana Tendrele. 
ஜன்னல்கள் தண்டித்த நியாயமா நியாயமா காதலின் கேள்விக்கு கண்களின் பதில் என்ன காதல் சொல்ல நொடி ஒன்று போதுமே அதை நானும் மைப்பிக்கத்தானே ஒரு வாயு வேண்டுமே இல்லை இல்லை சொல்ல ஒரு கணம் போதும் இல்லை என்று சொல்ல தாங்குவதென்றா இன்னும் இன்னும் எனக்கு ஓர் ஜென்மம் வேண்டும் என்ன சொல்ல போகிறாய் என்ன சொல்ல போகிறாய் என்ன சொல்ல போகிறாய் நியாயமா சங்கர் இப்படி எல்லாம் பாடினா இப்படி கொஞ்சோண்டு பாடி விட கூடாது யூ ஷுட் சிங் த ஹோல் திங் மராட்டி சாங் மராட்டி What do I... Okay, I'll sing it. Eka Janardhani Sharanam Eka Janardhani Sharanam Eka Janardhani Sharanam Yethi Bhali Rachi Aadhanam Eka Janardhani Sharanam வசந்த் டைரக்டர் வசந்த் சேஸ் ஹலோ டு யூ ஹாய் சே பிக் ஹலோ டு மை காட் Then there's Manjit Singh, Manjit Singh, Bhagavan. Tanan Daniye, Tanan Daniye. Yeah, Tanan Daniye. Director Vasanth and me, Manjit Singh, Tanan Daniye. Tanan Daniye. Tanan Daniye. Tanan Daniye. Tanan Daniye. And uh, Director Vasanth and me, I, had, I did not have any costumes. So me and him, we went to the mall to buy my costume. <laughs> <I remember. laughs> Say a big hello to him. Yeah, so there's Saumya. There's Saumya. Then there's Krishna Swami. Gatam Giridhar Udupa. Oh, say I love him. My God, he's All amazing. All of them say, yes. And do you know how long we've been talking now? Oh, my God. 75 minutes. I've spoken to him. 75 much. minutes. <laughs> I think people are enjoying. I just wish the audio levels would be better. I mean, considering the time, I think we've really been lucky to uh, have this kind of interaction. but i want to still continue our conversation with your music academy that you have which has students from 76 countries so how do you manage something as big as this see uh, uh, sudha there are there are dreams that people like us have but then we need people with us who can take our dreams and they can execute it to the they take it to the other side and i owe this to my you know co co-founder and my partner shridhar ranganathan he's you know mm-hmm. we both were engineers together in the college and you know he went to the us and we came and he came back to india and then he set up this we set up this academy together and we started off with about 10 15 students you know and pilot we requested people whether you can become a part of the academy and cut to after after you know about 9 and a half years we are in 76 countries and this is the only academy that is functioning 24/7 24/7 there are more than 80 teachers and there's a whole you know mm. it's a whole different ecosystem that we have formed you know with the advantages and disadvantages of learning through the internet we have taken both into consideration and developed something which is really really you know amazing i think so and it's benefited a lot of people lot of people i must say So do you get to see or the I should ask it this way do the students get to see you at some point of time of course of course of course see the the very first class i do with them then after that we have very regular concerts of students we have got three three you know kinds of uh, uh, concerts one is you know which they perform 
within within there for the teacher. Okay. Then there is something called Milan, which happens every quarterly, where if you have reached a certain stage of your singing, you get a chance to perform for me personally. Over there, we perform on the, from different. So one one student will perform from Dallas, one will perform from Dubai, one will perform from New York. It's like that all over. I see, I interact with them, I teach them a little bit, I have a little jamming session. That's Milan. Then we have Sangam, which is the annual, uh, you know, uh, festival of our academy, where the students physically they come, and we all meet, and we, you know, the teachers perform, the students perform. We have workshops. You know, someday I would dream to uh, invite you as one of the chief guests for some. Sure. If you would be okay with sure, that. Sure. So, you know, they get come and listen to people like you talk, you know, perform, get inspired. So, so I meet them on multiple levels. At the same time, I mean, the what we have achieved is I'm not because it's my it's my uh, work has been about twenty percent, but eighty percent of the work has been my partner Shridhar Ranganath, and he has. Just done an amazing, amazing, amazing job. Um, now we're going to go on the merry-go-round. You know, we, as children, I'm sure we do. We know. I love going on the merry-go-round. Even Me too, now. Eh? Oh. So, so the very fast questions and very quick answers. Last good film that you watched? Oh, uh, I watched a film called uh, Equalizer. Okay. Yesterday. Yeah. So what is the toughest uh, thing to handle uh, when it comes to singing or rather collaborating with rock and jazz musicians? You take these uh, ragas there. Uh, there is, I mean, actually speaking, there's nothing tough. But when you're performing live, uh, when you're performing with a rock band, monitoring becomes a tough thing. <laughs> so you have to just manage your monitoring. Otherwise... Uh, yeah, yeah you're, because you are, you're, you know, otherwise you end up screaming for no reason. You're not able to hear yourself. And they are, you know, they're playing their distortion guitar and all that. So that kind of technical aspects. Otherwise, it's a joy collaborating with any kinds of, any kind of music. Your most favorite Carnatic song? Most favorite Carnatic song? Oh my God, there are millions of them. But uh, I think this one. Ninne Naumina that's my favorite one. Wow. Uh, in your shows, on your, in your stage shows, which is the one song that you have to sing, you cannot escape? I mean, uh, Breathless. You can take, yeah, it has to be Breathless. So I have to sing that song. But there are many other songs like this. So this is one mandatory song. There are many songs. Wow, wow, wow. Tare Zami Par is there. Kal Ho Na Ho is there. Then, of course, then songs like Kajrare, then the latest one, Galla Gunia, songs from innumerable. In our shows, the, the difficult part is what not to sing because we have such a huge repertoire. So, yes, oh, yes. Oh, we don't have time to do this. We don't have time to do this. More happens in <laughs> shopping than deciding what to sing. Yeah. So, if you are not uh, in this career, in this profession as a musician, as a composer, what would you have been? Maybe a sous chef. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you would have had the most sophisticated restaurant, I guess, and I would have come and eaten there. <laughs> yes, definitely. Because cooking is like music. It's so similar. It's so similar. What is the best advice that you have been given and by whom? Something that you carry with you even today. Uh, yeah. One advice that uh, I always look at is, you know, do not strive to be good or very good. Just strive to be excellent. You know, there is that, that, that little gap between being very, 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 very good and being excellent, excelling yourself. So always strive to do that. You know, are you 
are you excellent in what you're doing is what the question that i ask so if i give you a magic wand and said go back in years where would you stop oh my god i'm so happy and content <laughs> sudha i'm telling you i would say bring me back to where i am now i've had i've wonderful I've had wonderful that's the way to take life yeah i'm a content man i'm a very content man yeah actually you have given so many messages out today shankar really your humility your contentment your perseverance your commitment your willingness to share your fame with your friends you know you have given cr credit to your like you spoke about javed akhundi you spoke about gulam ali ji hariharan everyone i mean there is no holding back for you that's i think the sweetest quality of you you're like a child thank somewhere you, somewhere the innocence you hold on to that do you think so that's think my observation so. i think so the day you lose your innocence you're no longer yourself you know then if you lose your innocence you're performing you are you're performing for the world you're you are enacting for the world you need not be i think you have to just be who you are and something that naturally you know that that that's an extension even in my music even when i sing even when i compose i do not do anything that does not come naturally to me our compositions also mm -hmm. you see that, you know maybe there are, i'll i'll never attempt something which is naturally not coming to me or naturally so i think it's best to be who you are within your limitations we are not the be nobody is you know the best or nobody has got all the qualities in but i think the best thing is to genuinely feel good for others genuinely when i say genuinely it means you're not only speech therapy and then inside you know one thing is burning where you have to take an antacid to to you, know, you have to genuinely feel good for others yeah because you just you just meet people who are just willing to pull you down throughout in your life you know i think you have to feel good other other, other people's success feel good for others genuinely feel good for if somebody else's music becomes popular you should feel good for that person so that is yes. keep be innocent and be honest to what you're doing i think that that will keep you a very contented person which i feel i am really really happy where i am with my family with my music i'm absolutely a happy man wonderful wonderful and is there anything else that you would like to tell us because we've come to the close I, of this conversation i just like to tell you that this has been an amazing experience with me i never i never thought that i could speak for so long uh, i mean i thought that you know in 45 minutes you would have got bored speaking to me and then we would have finished the session okay chalo let's wind up yaar just keep singing something uh, <laughs> that but you know it has been an amazing experience sudha thank you for inviting me here uh, i know what you are and everybody knows what you are you are you are the diva of uh, carnatic classical music and it's an honor and a privilege that i got to be part of this amazing show with you uh, hope you continue this and let me know when is your next session i'll i'll be your audience and i'll come and watch your session and all the best for Fantastic. all your concerts, all your endeavors and uh, hoping to collaborate with you Uh, and do one kind of performance with you somewhere somehow definitely we get to the nucleus of the the eye of that concert and then work around it you said the carnatic music is like a trunk a huge After trunk it. so let's work on the trunk and find our branches and sit on yes. you know one on one and get to a concert yeah that's been my dream also shankar really so i wish this new normal situation will bring us together in some collaboration yes thank you so much once again on behalf of everyone who has been watching the show on behalf of ragunathan who is watching downstairs and uh, thank you for the you know the amazing uh, qualities that you have expressed see it's everybody knows shankar is a good singer is a good composer is an excellent um, shall we say showman you know you need to have that showmanship but i don't think everyone really knows this side of you now as i said earlier your humility your innocence your content content your ability to be in the moment is wonderful thank you for thank teaching you. me that also 
Oh my uh, God. For retreating oh all God. these values. No, I already know about it. Definitely. Let's not be uh, false about it. I know about it. But each time somebody validates, each time somebody stresses on it, it goes deeper into you. It's like going into the well and the water stays there. You know, these are precious little, uh, what do you say, gold coins that one has in the treasury. So thank you and hope to see you at some airport or in Mumbai or in Chennai for the Margari season perhaps. Let's be optimistic. Oh, Good night family. and say hello oh, to the family. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. 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 So viewers, um, I think we really were lucky today that we didn't lose much of Shankar's conversation. But for a few seconds, I hope you enjoyed the interactions and uh, we look forward to your feedback. Stay indoors, stay safe for a few more days. And let's all pray together for normalcy to set into our lives as early as possible. Good luck and bye-bye. Thank you. I'm trying to end the live. It's not ending. <laughs>